Seven two on the floor. Holy Cross swinging it around. Shot clock down to seven. Drive into the lane, off the mark, and another finish inside by Caleb Kenny. He skied above the rim to go get that one. Well, and Kenny's on the open and susceptible for Georgetown giving up an offensive glass. Styles another three, too strong. And rebound tipped over to Will Batchelder. Nugent will look for that shot. Montgomery lost the handle. Rumbaugh whoops in and finishes with the right hand. The redshirt freshman, pesky defense. Seen some pickup, but also in the half court on the ball. And Brumbaugh right there realized that Montgomery was a little bit loose with his dribble and jumps at it. Batchelder, top of the key. Creates a little space, and his three-point attempt is blocked by Jim. Epps, left-hand dribble off to Styles. Another three-point attempt, another miss, and Matumbo uses that big frame to corral the rebound. Drum ball. This one goes down, and Georgetown's opened up. On the inside for the Hoyas. And they will put up three-point shots. You're already seeing them here. They've taken some deep ones, and the green light is on. Ten to two run for Georgetown has put them on top by five. Another three, another one off the mark from Batchelder. Georgetown contesting those long shots nicely. Coach Cooley said it. We want to force tough long jumpers. Styles leaves that one short. Out of bounds, it will be Holy Cross ball. But for steal right here, going coast to coast, watching his defender on the finish, and been the inside, and it's been the outside bottom. One of their six freshmen on their roster, four or five of those six are going to get decent minutes for Dave Paulson. And there's Wayne Bristol Jr. grabbing the offensive board. Off to Heath, air balls the three. Bristol, another offensive rebound, and Epps keeps it at the half court line. Bristol lost his balance a little bit and has his pocket picked. Another three, another one off the pace picking up. Both teams willing to run. Octave. That bucket goes down, and Holy Cross has cut the Georgetown lead to one. And back down at the other end. Woo, smooth. Intercepted by the redshirt freshman Brumball. Bristol back to Brumball. That is a beautiful break. Great two-on-one. I may have to make my way there, Dan. I'm, you know, I'm in New York. I just Fine. right up the street. Go ahead and make me jealous, why won't you? <laughs> Styles. 16-footers good. This is an important couple minutes here closing out the half for both teams. For the most part, it would be an effective on the offensive side, good pressure on the defensive side, but a six-point game, who can start to open this up or cut into the deficit? Batchelder has his pocket picked. Epps amping it up defensively. The outlet pass to Styles. What a finish. Six Georgetown steals have helped them to their biggest lead of the ball game at eight. Octave on Wayne Bristol Jr. The contest came from Styles. Labali an offensive board. There's Nugent wide open. You cannot give him that much space. He's excelled in that three five foot area right around the rim. He's physical and and two just his frame with his shoulders. Talk about that. Just his ability to square to the basket regardless of how his body is contorted. Jaden Epps. A lot of space opened up for him. He gives it off to Cook. Comes down with it, goes right back up, and an easy finish. Jaden Epps with nine points and continues to distribute as well. Octave again right to the bucket. Twelve points now for Joe Octave. Epps thought about the three. And another turnover. 
Octave surveying. And now he'll settle it down a bit, going to work on Heath. Dave Paulson barking for a reset offensively. Caleb Kenny got a little ball contact there as Epps tried to swat it away. See it from Kenny. We see it from Octave. They're going at it. It doesn't matter the size difference. They feel like they've got some quickness to them and ability to get off shots against some bigger defenders. Three ball from Heath will go down. Air Force transfer comfortable in this Crusaders jersey going to the basket using a little muscle and so does his teammate. And Caleb understood the tone they needed to set. It feels very similar here. And, and really out of the gates they did. They knew the level of physicality that they would have to play with. And they brought it. Octave, seven boards to go with his 14 points so far. He's going to pull a deep three with the shot clock winding down. That's off the mark. And Drew Fielder rips the rebound away from his own teammate. Brumball now with three fouls for Georgetown. Fouls starting to mount a bit on both sides. Cook and Brumbaugh both with three on the Georgetown side. And Montgomery and Koulibaly with three for Holy Cross. Now, a bit of a 2-3 zone here. With that call, uh, that it was off purple. Yeah, but... that could have gone either way. Come on, Rose, come on, Rose. Butter, butter, butter. No. Brumbaugh with four to shoot. Maybe not aware of the shot clock, down to one. But he pulled it off. A 7-0 run for Georgetown. Rumbaugh now d up Octave. Tipped around inside. Yeah, I'm not sure if he knew where the shot clock was at or he just say a little bit of diversion. Stop, pop. Oof, that was a big one. Georgetown holding on to a nine. Across to Georgetown. Jay Heath misses the three. So yet again, Holy Cross continues to stay in striking distance. Octave going to work on the shorter Epps. Turnaround jumper is good. Octave now a double-double, 21 points and 10 rebounds, and he gets Holy Cross back to within four. Epps off to Heath. Into the paint, swatted away by Caleb Kenny. And here comes Octave. Batchelder. Jaden Epps gonna try and answer, he does! Back and forth! Do in, in closing on games, a calmness and a confidence, but it will be tested here tonight because Holy Cross has been excellent. They're believing as well, a nice backdoor cut from Jaden Epps and he finishes to boost the lead. What does Holy Cross need to do down the stretch, Sarah? So first of all, take care of the basketball. Octave, let Epps fly by and then drilled the short jumper. Gonna let Octave take it off the ball. Gets the ball back after it's knocked away, and that's as easy as it gets for a guy to cross close. Epps, a three. Offensive board by Styles. Every extra possession here for Georgetown. Crucial down the stretch as we get to the two minute mark. Another try. This one's good. Supreme Cook just two of six from the free throw line tonight. Octave for three. He got it. First. Holy Cross up by one under a minute to go. Jade Nepp's going to try and answer. And a defensive rebound inside by Kenny. And they do. Just barely. Montgomery off for Octave. So there's a nine second difference between shot clock and game clock as we get to 20 seconds left in regulation. Rumbaugh on Octave. 
Joate the three. Back rim and an offensive board. Put up too early there. Ball tipped around, out of bounds, kept in. A, a catch and tip in. But yeah, you, you pretty much have time to, to catch it and release it. Jay Heath will inbound for the Hoyas. To Dontre Styles, it's tipped away by Octave, and that will do it. Fittingly, it's Joe Octave that makes the defensive play. 33 points for the senior guard, and he leads Holy Cross to a shocking win here at Capital One Arena, 68-67 over Georgetown. What a tremendous...